How's it, how's it? Do you want people to look at your photographs and immediately know that it was taken by you? So what's stopping you? What is stopping you creating this, this, this recognizable style in your photography? You've thrown loads of presets at your images and yet nothing seems to stick. So what is the secret that these photographers whose work you admire know about creating a look and a feel and a style for their images? To answer this question, we really need to go back to basics to find out what style is and more importantly, what it isn't. So upfront, style is not a lens choice. It's not a, a way of cropping and it is certainly not a preset. A preset is a look, it's like makeup for your photograph. How often have someone tried to put presets on their images thinking that it will create a style for them and it just doesn't fit. It, it, it seems like a, like a mismatch, like the, the, nothing is quite working out. And you kind of go, oh, well, what, why, does it, why does it work for the other person and, and not for me? And that is because those presets, the filters and the way that those photographs look, were made by somebody else. They have the character of the other person at their heart. And you need to have your character, your personality at the heart of your photographs. And this is getting closer to what style is. This idea about personality in your photography, I think is such a, a wonderful way of looking at it because it was suggested by a viewer called Bobcat 1967, who I, I, I really hope is Bobcat Goldsway, um, but probably isn't. Anyway, they had suggested in that comment about this concept of personality and saying that, you know, we, we can't really immediately see our own personalities, but other people recognize them instantly. I have a personality, you have a, a personality, and, and everybody who we know recognizes our own unique personalities. So the key here is to stop looking for style in your photographs and put in personality, your inner character, your inner self. I feel I must take a, a moment really kind of just to, to, to make the distinction between, you know, professional photographers who need to have a somewhat consistent look and a feel to their images because obviously they're being hired for, for their work and for that, that type of look, but they are also adept, so adept at putting their personality into the photographs. And Dan Winters, whose work we will be showcasing through this video, is a fantastic example of a photographer whose personality shines through all of his work. So what is the benefit to you when you start forgetting about style and a look and a feel to the images and putting your, your character into your photos? Well, first of all, you will find the photography process becomes, oh, it becomes so much easier because you are not trying to wear somebody else's clothing. Right, it, 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 what you photograph when it comes from, from the heart, when it comes from here, is, is truly yours, so it fits perfectly. That, that mismatch that you feel is when you are trying to photograph in the style of somebody else whose work doesn't really resonate with you. And how this, this process becomes so much easier for you to, to engage in, we'll talk about in just a minute. When you're not restricted by style, I, I'm going to have my photographs look a certain way, then all of a sudden avenues for creative expression open up to you that were, were closed off by yourself before because, oh, you know, I am a portrait photographer and I only shoot black and white and I only do this and I only do certain things. They're all very negative ways of looking at photography. You know, looking at, at Dan's body of, of, of imagery, it's so diverse. You can see that he is excited about the possibility of, of many disparate things. So you can be too. When you chuck off this idea of like style being a look and focusing more about your personality coming through the images. I'm gonna keep stressing this point throughout this video because it is so important that you allow your personality to shine through and not how your photographs look. So how, if you can't recognize your own personality, do you inject it into your photography? Now this is gonna sound slightly counterintuitive, but 
when you copy other photographers' work, when you try and set out to take a Dan Winter's portrait, or if you, you, know, you, you try somebody else's preset, or things of that nature, you are actually learning about what doesn't resonate with you, what doesn't fit. And the more that you do this, then the more that you, you discover your own ways of doing things that do fit, that do feel natural to you. The second aspect in this whole process that I, I think is, is, I won't say it's often overlooked, but occasionally, you know, it can be pushed to one side, is, is mastering the, the technical aspects of the basics of taking photographs. And I, and I stress the word basics there because you don't need to have complete mastery of every single technical challenge ever in the history of the world. You need to have enough experience, enough knowledge, to be able to take a competently technical photograph without thinking about it too much, right? Without spending too much time trying to address the technicalities of the photograph. And when you start doing that, then you let your expression come through. Think about when you started writing, you know, when you learned writing at school. Now, you may not be a creative writer, but you are a lot more fluid in your writing than you were when you were four years old. And photography is very much the same. As you learn the language of photography, as you learn the visual aspects in your world, then the photography becomes so much easier. In today's modern world, there is a lot to be made. I think this is why presets are, are so popular, because they think this is a shortcut to developing your visual language, as it were. And I think it, it's, it's, it's prudent at the time to turn to Dan Winter's thoughts on this. He says that one's visual language is not something that manifests itself overnight. It develops organically over a lifetime. The shifts can be so subtle as to be virtually imperceptible and, at times, will come to fruition so rapidly and with such force that the profundity is all-consuming. That is life's work. As you look to develop your personality, your character in your photographs, remember that it is always an ongoing process. There is no goal, there is no win in photography. You will never reach peak photography. As you become fluid with the camera and you combine learning to speak visually, and if you are interested in learning to improve the way they speak visually, I have linked to a course that I offer in the description box below that will help you do just that. But as you become technically proficient, as you become better at speaking visually, then, then the, the, the photograph will become second nature. And the more that you pursue this, then the more that your personality will start to leach into your photographs without you knowing about it. I don't think that my photographs particularly have a personality, but somebody once said to me, oh, I can tell an Alex photograph from, from miles off, even though they are very disparate in their look and their feel. And I'm sure that it is the same for you, that if someone were to spend, if I was to spend some time looking at your photographs, I would probably start to see elements of your personality in that image, which you might not be aware of. So it is there. Your personality is in your photographs already. It is just a matter of nurturing it, of letting it come to the surface just to bubble up. And you can do that by laying the fertile ground for its development by, stop worrying about style. Stop worrying about how your photographs look. Focus more on the vibe. You know, is this photograph really you? Does it, it, does it speak from, with your voice? Because it, when it does, then it starts to stand up. Then it starts to be immediately recognizable as, as your image. And that's when you will start to be recognized in, you know, in your camera club or on Instagram or wherever, because the photographs are not going to look like everybody else's who is just taking that preset and slapping on any old thing, like the, the lipstick on a pig thing, <laughs> you know, it's, it's not gonna change it, right? So you are on the right path. You are absolutely getting in the right direction with your photography. And, and, I, I, and I know that you're going to be so much happier with the results as well when you're not trying to shoehorn somebody else's approach into your own photography. Throughout this video, we've been looking at the, the images of Dan Winters. I believe he is the modern equivalent 
of Irvin Penn, which is which a really bold statement. But when you check out this video here, I think you will see the similarities, not in terms of a feel, but their approach to photography, about their personalities coming through. Thanks ever so much for watching it, and I'll see you again soon.